a 2 by 3 matrix multiplied by a 3 by 2 matrix ended up giving us a 2 by 2 matrix, which is this. So in matrix, we have what we call the scalar multiplication. This is a case where you have a scalar multiplying in matrix. It's straightforward. All you have to do is just multiply. So in this case, 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. All you have to do is just put them in the same position as well, in the were. case of two mm. matrices, the rule says that the number of colons in the first matrix has to be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. That is the only way you can multiply two matrices. So right now, you have to pick the first row and then multiply with the first colon. So you say 2 times 4 plus 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1. And then when you're done with that, you move on. You do the same first row with the second colon. So you say 2 times 8, 0 times 2, 1 times 5. Do the same thing for the second row. You use this one to multiply this second matrix. So minus 1 times 4 plus 4 times 0 plus 5 times 1. Use the same row to multiply the second colon here. So minus 1 times 8, um, you continue like that, right? 2 times 4 is 8, right? 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. So 8 plus 0 plus 1. 8 plus 0 plus 1. For this one, you have minus 1 times 4 is minus 4 plus 4 times 0 is 0, 5 times 1 is 5. We do the same for the second one, and we will get, and that gives you your answer. So 8 plus 0 plus 1 is 8. 16 plus 0 is 16, plus 5 is 21. Minus 4 plus 0 is minus 4, plus 5 is 1. And then minus 8 plus 8 is 0, plus 5, 25 is 25. Here is the final answer to this. A 2 by 3 matrix multiplied by a 3 by 2 matrix ended up giving us a 2 by 2 matrix, which is this. Let us know if this can be multiplied.